Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have a power series summation n z s to n. So it is mentioned that it has radius of convergence r. And with the help of this information, we have to find radius of convergence of these two power series. So let us start with the given information. So we have we have summation n running from zero to infinity n z s to n has radius of convergence r. So by formula of radius of convergence, we can write 1 by r is equal to limit n tends to infinity mod a n plus 1 upon n. So this is so much important information for us. So that's why I'm calling it as 1. So let us start to discuss the first sub question. So we have a power series in first sub question summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z raised to 2n. So z raised to 2n is looking little bit odd or different. So that's why I'm going to replace z square by w, okay, to bring it its standard form, okay. So replacing, replacing z square by w we get. So let us see what will we get. Summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z square is w so w raised to n so now it is in a standard form so now we can apply the formula of radius of convergence to find the radius of convergence okay so let us write so therefore 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to so the formula says limit n tends to infinity right so here the coefficient is n so i should write here mod a n plus 1 upon n. So this is equal to the value of that limit already we have written which is 1 by r. So this is equal to 1 by r. Therefore 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to 1 by r. Let us take reciprocals of both sides and we will have radius of convergence is equal to r. Right. So what is meaning of radius of convergence? It means if mod w less than r, the series is convergent and if mod w is greater than r, the series is divergent. So therefore, by definition, therefore, series summation n running from 1 to infinity a n w raised to n is convergent for mod w less than r. But see that w we have taken but its actual value is z square let us put it there that is mod z square less than r that is we can write mod z square having a same meaning less than r because of some properties of mod we could write it okay uh, to remove that square i will take square root of both sides it means mod z less than r raised to 1 by 2 if you take square root square will get vanished and here we will have r s to 1 by 2. So basically in a given series we had z and it is convergent for this condition. So mod z less than r s to 1 by 2. So by definition we can say this is the radius of convergence. So therefore the radius of convergence of this series summation n running from 0 to infinity a n z s to 2 n is r raised to 1 by 2. So this is the radius of convergence of this power series. Make a screenshot of it then we will go for the next power series. Okay. So we have this second power series summation n running from 0 to infinity n square z raised to n. So here the coefficient is n square. So let us call it as bn. Here bn is a n square. So obviously b n plus 1 is also required which is a n plus 1 square. So now I will use the formula of radius of convergence. Therefore 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to limit n tends to infinity. We have coefficient b n. So I should write b n plus 1 upon b n. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. Let us put the value of bn plus 1 which is a n plus 1 square value of bn is a n square right n square. So by using property of mod we can express the same thing in this way sorry n tends to infinity 
a n plus 1 by a n mod square. See the but limit limiting value of this mod is 1 by r. So its value is 1 by r square. So therefore 1 upon radius of convergence is equal to 1 upon r square. Let us take reciprocals of both sides. Therefore radius of convergence is equal to r square getting so therefore radius of convergence of this given uh, power series is r square so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you